Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome to WhatsMap, your one-stop shop for everything workshop. I'm Bon Bon B and you're very, very welcome. Right, it's Tuesday, Tuesday's request day. Today's map was requested by the creator over on Discord. Link is in the description and will be popping up on the screen in a few moments' time. Now they've done a rather good job of this, making a very visually striking map, which has got plenty of buildable space and some very interesting feature areas. They've even had a pretty good shot at making a rather striking river. There are some problems, of course, but we'll get to them later. Now there is also a problem coming up. If you're waiting for this, if you're waiting for the Let's Play, it's gonna be put back by a week. I am so sorry. Little thing called the Viewer's Choice Top 10, which I need to get out as a priority. So, um, yes, uh, the Let's Play is coming soon. I promise. I promise. I do. I also promise there will be a Bomb Bomb Bingo card. Link in the description for those of you that want to play along with all the memes as they pop up. But before we do any of that, it's, as always, at the start of the show, The Daily Reminder. That's right, clicking that like button really does support the channel, gets me seen by more people and helps me grow a little bit more every single day. Thank you for your support. Today's map is the charmingly named Chestnut Grove by Mac Mori. Strong thumbnail, cannot fault the thumbnail, and a very striking looking map. Uh, there's your start square. It's all there that you're going to want. Uh, the main highway, the secondary highway, is a little away. You're going to need to be onto like tile number three for that one. Pretty flat today and a few very striking hills. And resources are strong and stylized. I think that's the best way to describe those. Uh, if you have Sunset Harbour and you want to do some fishing, we've got a mix of the fishing. You might want to have the 81 tile mod to get hold of most of it. Off to the workshop, what do we need? Well, there's no DLC required today. There is a short list of things to subscribe to. We'll be using the alternative Mediterranean theme and the high contrast LUT. Uh, nicely written description, quite funny as well. Uh, do have a little read of that if you can. Only three subscribers at the time of recording, which does include me. That's a bit of a worry. A nicely written description, all the bits and bobs, uh, a nod to the intersection marking tool, which uh, we have active today. We'll have a look at some of that work today as well. And uh, they admit they've got a little bit of a problem with waves in their river. And can somebody with a bigger brain than them give them some advice? Well, I don't know anybody with a bigger brain, so you'll have to make do with me today. And I do have, uh, I do have an answer. I'm not going to show you exactly how to fix it. You've had a good go at fixing the river by, I can see you putting all the control points along it, trying to control those ripples. Uh, this is your main highway and rail, by the way, goes straight into the start square. Uh, so yeah, you've had a really good go at trying to fix it and it's not fixed. So um, yeah, I'll, I'll see if I can explain it briefly when we get to the river later on in the show. There's your start square, um, lots of flat buildable space, highway and rail dead ends there. If you want then to connect it to the main artery, arteries, arteries down here, that's it. <laughs> uh, it's down here. It's probably tile number three or four to get to this. Nice, interesting looking intersection, have to say that. And we have uh, an intersection marking tool in operation. Uh, which is pretty well done. I've got to say they, they do kind of match the thickness of the the uh, lines. They don't always match up exactly with alignment like that, but they're not too bad. Now you may notice we've got a four-lane road there going into two two-lane roads. Uh, I'm not sure why we're going from two-lane roads up to three-lane roads while we go through the cutting, but we do. And then we go from three-lane roads back down to two-lane roads as we come out of the cutting. And also we have this like, central thing going down the middle, which looks a bit weird. I think I would rather that been cleaned out or made some sort of proper feature of it rather than just, uh, just a gouge. It looks, it looks a bit weird to me, that. Uh, and then, oh, hang on. Well, intersection marking, right. Shall we, shall we talk about chevrons? Shall we? Is that a bit of a... Oh, that's slightly non-aligned there as well. That's probably not a huge problem, actually. Uh, yes, uh, we've got um, 
these chevrons. Now, if you have a look at the chevrons, they're facing the wrong way. The way the traffic is going, it might want to take a little right-hand turn. There should be a bold line against you as you're driving towards them, like there. Um, also, solid bold marking like that is very clean as well. I quite like that. If we come over here, we'll have a look at so the chevrons here as we're driving towards them are solid lines. But on the other side, as you're driving this way, it kind of like follows if you want to go around the corner. So yeah, half right and half wrong. But it's consistent, so I think we can give some credit there. <laughs> Possibly. Um, you have a look here, we've got a little bit of a shoulder with these uh, intersections as well. Uh, the easiest way to fix these, I would suggest, is with the node controller. But if you haven't got that, then let's use Move It to just try and align these roads up a little bit better. Uh, just moving of all of the nodes. Of course, everything a little bit further up the way will want shifting as well to line up with this. Well, I'm only fixing this corner just to see if we can get rid of the shoulder there. And uh, so we've got some nice smoother lines there. It's, it's, it's not perfect. Let's like say the no controller is definitely the best solution for getting this better, but I think that looks instantly better. And yes, um, everything wobbles a bit afterwards, but it can easily be cleaned up. That that's much easier a bit further up. And uh, back down to the highways. Now that there are some talking points with the highways, one of which is you know those four lane and two lane highways we were looking at a second ago. Those are network extension two highways which is a bit of a problem. Oh, a talking point also while we're here, it's consistent across the map, but all of the highways are elevated at ground level. If we elevate that up, you can see how it splits away. We cause the traffic to do crazy stuff. That's, <laughs> that's not the map maker's fault, but uh, it's gone. Yeah, these elevated highways are consistent. So if you like the look of them, then we're winning. Uh, if you don't like the look of them, then we're not winning and so forth. <laughs> yeah, but yes, um, Network Extensions 2 is not listed. Of course, the loading screen mod doesn't tell you because it's a mod. Yeah, and it tells you about missing assets. So um, that does need to be added to uh, the uh, workshop page. But other than that, um, I think we've got a very striking looking map here. And uh, not, not too much to complain about. There really isn't that much to complain about. It's a pretty fine job that's been done. Right, we'll take an intermission in a few moments. We'll come back for the shipping right after this. Don't be shy, because I, I think you're beautiful and I won't let you forget it. Don't be late, but I'll wait. And life won't bring you down too far, because I just won't let it. Of course, a big shout out to all the Patreon Bomb Bomb Buddies. Thanks for your ongoing support over there. You keep the channel going. I love you for it. Right, okay, shipping routes. We've got shipping routes. We've got two of them, and there's nothing wrong with them. They follow sensible sort of routes, and they don't get too close to land, and then they loop out to go off to the edge of the map roughly together, but not so close together that you're going to get any collisions. And then we've got a second shipping route over here, which is just going to do its stuff off towards the edge of the map over there. So yeah, we've got good shipping route. No need for any shipping triangles because we've got no splits going on. And at most places that you're going to want to harbour, you're going to get access to. It's outside of the 25 tiles, but 81 tile mod for that one. But again, that is covered in the description. Water flow, uh, yes, we, it's a slightly lumpy, well, not a ripply river rather than lumpy river. It's not particularly strong. You're probably going to be okay, though, because there are plenty of spawn points as you go down here. So you're probably going to be okay one way or another, but it just looks a little bit weak, doesn't it? It does. Okay, let's have a look at things like stylized little, um, I think this must be oil. I've not checked. It's either oil or, or I'm, I'm guessing it looks like it should be oil. Uh, lovely, good use of the trees. I'm going to say we've got a very large selection of trees on today's um, on subscri subscription list. But they have been used to good effect. And if you're going to use a lot of trees, using them to good effect is the very least that you'd expect. 
Um, we've got some very stylized mountains. I don't hate the mountains. I really don't. I think they work quite well on the map, especially for what the map has been trying to achieve. And we've got another one of these uh, stylized mountains over here. There is stuff to talk about with the cliff texture on the theme, though. We'll get to that in a moment. But let's do it now. Let's go down to the big old cliff. <laughs> Everybody loves a big old cliff. <laughs> Uh, we got a castle structure type thing on the top here. Old uh, Quad Rioters, marvelous. I can't pronounce this word, but you know what I mean. This is this is a great thing. Again, it's in the uh, it's in the subscription list, so that's all good. And it's, it's it's an interesting thing to have there. Okay, give you that. Now the cliff texture looks great on small cliffs and on little rocky outcrops and stuff. It looks amazing. Yep, I think we can agree with that. But when you pull back to a big cliff, it looks like somebody's knitted the cliff. The cliff texture works really well on small cliffs, but not so much on mega cliffs like that. So uh, it's just something that uh, to consider if you're looking to do a cliff map and you can use this theme. Probably not for cliffs of this size, even though it is meant to be some sort of fantasy stylized map. I mean, you may say this, it actually looks perfect because of that, so I'll leave it down to your discretion. But for me, that, it doesn't work for me uh, on cliffs that size. Ah, the essential lighthouse and an essential little bonbon island in the middle there that uh, no, it's, it's too close to land. Sorry, I can't settle on it. Sorry, <laughs> it's a personal thing. It's not a bonbon island. It's a nice island though. Loving this little um, inlet as well. And again, there you go. This is the rocks and uh, prop rocks as well. It all works very nicely together. Then you have this feature. Okay, if you read the background story in the description, it tells you all about this. Uh, this is where the Chestnut Council <laughs> and they are at the top there discussing what happens to chestnut grove here are the four chestnuts yeah the four chestnuts of the apocalypse do you know what that's been done exceptionally well there's nothing to say negative about that that is exceptional work does it really fit with the rest of the map it sort of does sort of yeah what doesn't work for me on the map my, my biggest downer other than the network extensions of course these tunnels i i get it i get what's been trying to uh, be done here doesn't quite work for me i know i know what you're trying to do here it's a good effort it's a valiant effort but it just doesn't look like these tunnels go all the way through so i would probably maybe have it just like it's a little bit more elevated in the middle to make it look like they actually go underground or just make the whole thing look like it connects as one and then you've got this river, which we, we've got a few drowned trees. What, they, are they drowned where they're just paddling? I think they might be wading. But uh, yeah, they are a little bit in the water along here, but uh, not so bad. And then the rippling of the water starts roughly about here. It kind of starts a little bit before here, but um, certainly a little bit further back. What it happens is the, the river's going in one way straight on and it bounces off and they go straight on and it bounces off. And that's what you're getting this rippling effect. And the more long curves that you have on the river, the more you're likely to get ripples like this from the bouncing. And this is a river that's got quite a lot of long curves on it, swinging one way or another. It does have a lot of these control points on it, which I want to say, it, it's a good effort at trying to sort it out. I've got to say that that can actually fix these issues, but it just doesn't quite on this one. But it is a map that has a long curve and a long curve back. You see how it snakes down and it kind of like needs a little um, waterfall or something like that just to break it up. And that would help with that one. And to start square, well, we've spoken about that river and we have an asset. Here it is. It's Jeremy Chit. Make sure you pronounce that correctly. Could go wrong in a multiple number of ways. <laughs> With 505 to 507 Canton Road. Uh, obviously a beautiful... I'm, I'm saying obviously Japanese. Is it Japanese? Or it's Chinese, isn't it? Cantonese, bonbon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's an uh, amazing looking asset, this one. If you're doing an eastern build, doesn't matter whereabouts in the east, surely. 
<laughs> says he tongue in cheek, meaning that you really want Germanic buildings in your UK build because they're European. Anyway, whatever. You know if you like it, you know if you're going to use it. Factoids. Speaking of German, didn't plan this one. At the height of German inflation in the 1920s, one US dollar was worth four quintillion marks. That is four billion billion marks. That's a lot of numbers. That's 18 zeros, I think. Yeah, 18 zeros. And a four on the front. I think you work the four bit out yourself. Anyway, uh, that's today's factoid of the day. In 55, so 505 to 507 Canton Road by Jeremy Jitt is... Today's asset of the day. A really very nice too. That's, that actually is really nice work. Love the way it's all posted up. The, the eyes, oh, it looks great, doesn't it? Anyway, uh, what do you think of today's map? We're there now. <laughs> what do you think? Is it a one-star map? Is it a five-star map? Is it somewhere in between? Your vote really does count. We use it at the end of the month for the viewer's choice top 10. Will this be one of the top 10 maps of the month? Only you can decide. Hit the I button now in the top right corner of your screen or the link in the description. It'll take you to the voting page where you can vote for free with a Facebook, Gmail, Apple or a Patreon account. But what do I think of today's map? Well, aesthetically, I think it's strong. I don't think it's marvellous, but I think it's strong. I would call this a high three-star map if it wasn't so visually memorable. And for that, I'm going to kick it into the fourth star, but only just. Four stars, low. Detailing. Uh, there's not really too much wrong with it. I'd like to see a little bit more interesting things done with it because it's a map that's trying to do some interesting things and uh i th i think we're like I say this little uh, dome thing looks great like to see more of it so i'm gonna go for a medium high three gameplay i do roughly about the same it looks pretty playable but because network extensions 2 is not listed i have to assume you don't have it and if you don't have it this map will very definitely be broken so technically i have to give it one star Chestnut Grove by Mac Mori. I would say that is a very strong, striking visual map. And um, definitely plenty of play. Why is it only got th um, three subscribers? One's going to be me. One's got to be Mac Mori. And one is probably Mac Mori's mum. Can somebody please bring us up to full subscribers? <laughs> oh, you'll be switched on if you do. Now, if you're still here, you're part of the 20 and out elite. Use the word of the day and score yourself some population points just for fun. I'll be back tomorrow with another map in the What Map series, and I've got to record the viewer's choice sometime too. Help.